Hey friends, this is Roshni and I welcome you all to my channel Circuit Globe. Today we'll study Thevenin's theorem with its numerical implementation. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Friends, Thevenin's theorem is basically a network reduction theorem that allows the conversion of a complex linear circuit into a simplified circuit. Let's see what it states. So Thevenin's theorem states that any linear bilateral complex circuit with multiple voltage or current sources and resistances can be replaced by a single voltage source in series with a resistance connected across the load. Consider the figure shown here. As we can see that a linear complex network is converted into a circuit with a single voltage source in series with an equivalent resistance across the load resistance. This circuit is known as Thevenin's equivalent circuit. This voltage source is known as Thevenin's voltage denoted by VTH. This equivalent resistance is known as RTH that is Thevenin's resistance and this RL is our load resistance. Now you must be thinking that how can a complex circuit can be converted into this much simplified circuit. So guys don't worry today in this session we will completely discuss the steps involved for converting a complex linear circuit into a simplified circuit using Thevenin's theorem. Guys these are the steps that are required to be followed to convert a complex circuit into Thevenin's equivalent network. Let's now discuss each step separately. Friends, basically any network simplification theorem is applied to get the value of current through or voltage across the load. In a similar way, the main purpose of Thevenin's theorem is to determine the current flowing through the load in a complex network using an equivalent simplified network. So for this, firstly you need to identify the load resistance across which flowing current is to be determined. This is so because the potential across these two points must be calculated first which will be Thevenin's voltage for the simplified circuit. Now the second step involves the determination of voltage across the two open ends and we can achieve this by using any network simplification technique like KVL or KCL. And so by this we can get Thevenin's equivalent voltage for the circuit. Further you have to consider the basic circuit and you have to remove RL from that circuit again and you have to replace all the active sources with their equivalent internal resistance. I'll tell you what are the equivalent resistance of active sources when we'll go for numerical implementation. So friends after replacing the active sources with their internal resistance you have to find the equivalent resistance of the simplified circuit across the two open ends. And the equivalent resistance of the circuit will act as Thevenin's resistance. Now by the help of values VTH and RTH you need to draw Thevenin's equivalent circuit. And further have to find the current flowing through the load resistance using the formula given here. I is equals to VTH upon RTH plus RL. This is our Thevenin's voltage. This is Thevenin's resistance. And this is the load resistance. Now let's take an example to have a better idea about how to have a Thevenin circuit from a complex network. So for this consider the circuit shown here. As it is clearly written over here that we have to calculate the current through 2 ohm resistance. So for this particular circuit this 2 ohm resistance will act as the load resistance. And so we have to calculate VTH and RTH across these two open ends. So firstly we have to remove this load resistance RL in order to find VTH and RTH across the two open ends. So on removing RL from this circuit we will get this circuit. As you can see that now we have to find VTH across the two open ends. And we know that to find VTH across this circuit we have to apply any network simplification technique like KVL or KCL. And in this circuit I am using KVL over here. So guys let's proceed to apply KVL in this circuit. As we can see that the circuit is composed of two meshes 1 and 2. 
and it is clear from the figure that mesh 1 consists of a current source of 5 ampere therefore for mesh 1 the current i1 will be equals to 5 amperes further when we proceed to apply kvl in mesh 2 then we see that this mesh consists of a voltage source of 20 volts a 10 ohm resistor a 5 ohm resistor and a 15 ohm resistor so applying kvl over here 20 is equals to 10 of i2 minus i1 plus 5 of i2 plus 15 of i2 and on simplifying we will get 20 is equals to 30 i2 minus 10 i1 and already we have the value of i1 that is 5 ampere so on substituting this value we will get i2 as 2.33 amperes as we know that voltage across parallel branches remains same so if we find the voltage across this particular branch then automatically we will get the value of VTH so let's now calculate the drop across 15 ohm resistance so we will get this equation where 15 is the value of the resistance present in this branch and I2 is the current which is flowing in this branch which is 2.3 volts we have taken the value approximately as 2.3 so the achieved voltage will be 34.5 volts therefore this VTH will be 34.5 volts as we have calculated the value of VTH so now it's time to determine the Thevenin's equivalent resistance to calculate Thevenin's equivalent resistance we have to consider the same circuit again and must remove the load resistance also we have to replace all the active sources with their equivalent internal resistances and in this way the simplified circuit will be like this we all know that current source has an ideal resistance of infinity while a voltage source has an internal resistance of zero therefore we will replace the current source by an open circuit condition whereas the voltage source by a short circuit condition and in this way we will get this circuit so let's now calculate the equivalent resistance of this circuit therefore we will have the value of RTH as we can see in this particular figure 4 and 10 are in parallel combination with each other while these two are in series with this 5 ohm resistance furthermore this whole combination is in parallel with this 15 ohm resistance so on calculating we will get the value of RTH as 5.15 ohms now as we have got the values of VTH and RTH so let's now draw Thevenin's equivalent circuit and this is our Thevenin's equivalent circuit comprising of Thevenin's equivalent voltage having a value of 34.5 volts and Thevenin's equivalent resistance with a value of 5.15 ohms connected in series with a load resistance of 2 ohms so as we have got Thevenin's equivalent circuit so now we can easily find the current through this load resistance RL so for this we will use the formula IL is equals to VTH upon RTH plus RL that is modified form of Ohm's law and on substituting the values we will get IL is equals to 4.82 amperes so in this way any linear complex circuit can be simplified and current through the load can be determined using Thevenin's theorem well friends this is all for today I hope you'll find this lesson useful so please press the like button and put on your comments below and don't forget to subscribe our channel for further updates I'll be back with another interesting topic till then take care bye bye